your question is draw appropriate venn diagram they have given you a and b everywhere they have given a and b that means we have to take one set as common or you can say it's a universal set so here always we will take three things first is your u that is your universal set then a and then b <coughs> now so in this first we, we we have to draw universal set how we will draw just we will make a rectangular box there so this is your u now this is your universal yani everything is there here then what they have told see this a union b just we have to see in bracket what they have given a union b so we will make a and b so suppose this is your a now a and another we have to make one more circle it represent b it uh, may be intersecting or may not be intersecting so we will make just like this so this is your b now and this part this part center part is your a intersection b part that means they are intersecting them now what they have told see this a union b that means every items in a and b should be there then they have given their complement that means what it means that u minus a union b that means in this if you subtract this to what we will get we will get the remaining part that is your this part except this two circle we have to shade everything so this is your complement part shaded part is your complement part okay next here they have given a complement intersect b complement so how we will draw just first we will make a universal set so this is your universal set u then they have told make a so just we will make a circle a this is your a now then they have told complement of a so complement of a means u minus a so it will come here this part then what they have told b also b also that means we have to make another b here b and this is your b now b and complement of b is remaining of that you can see if you shade a complement it will come into b like this but if you shade b complement it will come into a also here now what they have told they have told intersection now you can see they where they are intersecting remaining part is they are intersecting not here 
So that means it is equal to what? Or you can draw like this. Wherever it is contains both lines, that that is your answer. So this is this part, outer part, just like same. So we know that they are the Morgan's theorem. So whatever you will get here, same you will get here. Next. A intersection B. First we will make that. So in this, first what we have to do? We have to make a universal set. And they have told intersection. That means from here, this is your A and this is your B. So this is the intersection part. This part is your intersection. A intersect B. Now next they have given what complement. That means with this portion, except this portion, everything should be shaded. So what we will do? We will make it white here. And we will shade. This is U and we will shade everything. So this is your what? A intersection B complement. Now, you can see this. A complement union B complement. So first what we have to do, we have to make the universal set. So this is your universal set. This is your U now. Then they have told make A. So you can see A is here. This is your A. Then they have told A complement. That means we have to shade a outer one except this we have shaded everything then they have told B also here you can see B also so B is here this is your B now now we will shade it by and they have told B complement that means Except B, we have to shade everything. So we will shade. So this is your shading by red. Hmm. Now what they have told, see this. A complement union B complement. That means where is the union there? So you can see same. That means this is your intersection point. That is your A intersect B. So this is your again the Morgan law. So again you will get the same diagram what you got here. That means accept the center point, everything to be shaded. 